What up YouTube, be turning with God here again. This video right here is going to be called If the Rapture Doesn't Happen Soon. Which it will, but if it doesn't happen like this year or next year or something, we will have more time to repent. Yes, the uh, Bible says Jesus could come back anytime. It proves that it's an unexpected time. Any second could happen. But let's say it doesn't happen. We will have that much more time to repent of our sins. I hope that um, people will come into repentance and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior for forgiveness of their, um, their sins. Because it's vital in order to receive salvation. To escape going to hell for all eternity, how is that not, not vital? It's obviously vital and important. To accept the invitation of Jesus, you have to believe fully that he is the only way to salvation. That he is the only one that's sufficient enough to receive salvation through. That being a good person is not good enough. That's just our own selfish belief of how to get saved. Or sacrifices, like animal sacrifices or something like that. Or being a good person by helping charity, helping the homeless, being nice to people. That's not going to get us saved. The only way to get us saved is Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Fully believe on Jesus' death and resurrection on the cross. And that he rose again. Fully place your complete, utter trust in Jesus alone for salvation. Alone means that to know that he is the only way to heaven. The only way to salvation is faith alone in Jesus. Admit you're a sinner. Admit that you're in need of a savior. Believe on Jesus Christ's death and resurrection and believe that he died for your sins and that his blood is sufficient enough to pay for your sins and save you from hell for all eternity. C, A, B, C, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and he is the Son of God and that he will save you from hell for all of eternity and bring you home to heaven. That's how you receive his invitation to salvation that's how we receive jesus's invitation to the wedding feast to salvation to his house party to god to spend eternity with him in heaven for all of eternity and away from hell he died on the cross to save you and me from hell for all of eternity if only we will place our faith in him alone see that he is the only way to heaven and not by being a good person or whatever that whatever we do to try to get our inheritance in heaven we will only have judgment and hell to look forward to being tormented in for all of eternity with all the lost souls and satan and his demons jesus is the only way to heaven and to escape going to hell for all of eternity if you, may, if you wind up in hell, you're there forever. Not one single sliver of God's presence is there with you. So you will be alone in hell with all the other people and Satan and his demons. Spread it apart, burning in hell forever in torment and great loneliness and sadness. Anything that doesn't belong with God, like any, any of God's attributes, peace, love, joy, rest, water, food, Sleep, love, will not be in hell. There's only hatred in hell. There's only death in hell. There's only sleepless days in hell. There's only torment and torture in hell. There's only hatred in hell. There's only merciless demons in hell tormenting people, according to Bill Weiss. I don't know if demons are torturing people in hell or if people are just being tortured by fire. But this is extremely vital and important. Reach out to people out there to get saved. 
my phone right here is low on memory and it can't usually record up to this long but apparently it's working it's never gone this far when it's had this much storage on it that's only proving that God is having this go viral because it's that this is that important to discuss reach out to people who is unsaved tell them to repent in the name of Jesus Christ and ask them ask God for forgiveness for their sins and to receive him as their personal Lord and Savior that Jesus died for them on the cross to save them from their sins and rose again on the third day to bring salvation to all who call upon the name of him I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and have them share it with friends and family. And spread the word, the word worldwide to people. Enjoy this video and many more to come. Peace out.